All right, guys, thanks for your patience. I apologize for the various technical delays. Welcome to World of Warships with Raptor and Zaf. <laughs> good news is, game's loading. We should be good to go momentarily. Here we go. Just because I'm tired of you looking at the match card, I'm going to show you things that I normally don't, which is the behind-the-scenes us killing ourselves, because I always think this part of the match is boring and pointless, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Enjoy. Wow, okay. I do it all the time, because I have to I, pro D and I'm like killing myself. I've gotten to where I don't. I don't show this, because it's like, who wants to watch 35 seconds of me torpedo or 60 seconds of me torpedoing myself? You know, it's just, whatever. Do you really think that everybody is actually watching right now? Or how many do you think are actually just listening? You know, a fair point, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it is a visual game. I hope they're not trying to treat this like radio. This isn't like baseball. Are you sure? I mean, you got a great voice for it. Well, yeah, but I have a face for radio. That's what I keep getting told. <laughs> I didn't want to go there far, but thank you. Oh, I've been saying that about myself for years. You know, Halcyon, one of the admins of, of the tournament, caught me the other day. We were chatting on voice. And he goes, I have to ask you a question. I said, go ahead. He says, are you in Are you in radio? Do you do, like, like radio announcing? I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Awaiting instructions. I don't know about you, but I remember when I was a kid, I used to play with my boombox, and I used to, like, play, record radio so um, announcements and stuff just because it'd be fun. Fine, I guess I'm alone in that. No, no, I was just, I'm sorry, I was busy launching torpedoes at myself. I've done some of that myself over the years, so yeah, I hear you. All right, well, we're slowly getting to where we're about to die. Here goes some torpedo hits for me. Oh, look, no floods, that's fantastic. Hopefully these will no flood me No floods on my first. Yep, and now I have your problem, no floods. So we'll send up a bomber. Get wrecked. Group three, ready. Oh, here's the flood. Yes, I'm going to beat you. Not very hard to do when I can't flood myself with my own freaking torpedoes. This is the crap. I hate doing this. It wastes so much time. Yeah, All right, but it's kind of fun to look at this ship. All right. So while, I'm, while my ship burns to the ground, let's look at early deployments. We have Montana, Des Moines, Hindenburg, and Grosevoy headed down towards sea. Some pretty aggressive fighter scouting going on here by uh, Icarius Kainese Hakuryu on the other team. A little bit of a fighter duel there at B, as one of the Yu Yangs, that's Blood Rain, is well into the cap there, kind of capping on, uh, right on the edge of B. Looks like it's contested now, though. Our Hakuri is using the space camo, because that's better. So we're going to win. That's right. Yeah, well, yeah, ours, our is, ours, is, <laughs> ours is using one of the funky Chinese camos. Oh. All right, so... B cap now ticking up, was ticking up for MIA, is now back to ticking up for MIA again. Yeah, explosive dumpling and the Grozovoy decided to come back out, most likely for fear of the Yu Yang once he got spotted. Uh, most likely that Yu Yang is radar, and therefore, why risk it? Ah, uh, but that Yu Yang is not radar. See the big smoke cloud? The smoke is rendering for you on the corner of B, right? Uh, yep. Well, in the usual camping island area. You got it. Yeah. So, in my mind, that may have been a bit of a mistake. There was no need for him to do that, knowing that the smoke was there, knowing that the, one of the destroyers had laid it. Um, I mean, it could have been the Grosvoy. He doesn't know which destroyer, probably, unless it was spotted. Was it, was it spotted and verified well, as the Yu Yang? But based on the fact that the Grosvoy last spotted on our side was at sea, was heading south by sea cap, and sea is now being capped, it's a safe assumption that the Yu Yang is indeed smoke. Fair enough. Well, B and C going over to MIA as the big the big push from uh, Knuckles seems to be up north. A Kabarovsk in the sea cap, backed up by a Republic and an Henri close aboard. A Des Moines, a Montana, and Hindenburg yeah. up there for MIA to try and slow down that push. But that's a lot of speed with an Henri and a Kabarovsk. We'll have to see how this works. I do like seeing Kaba in, uh, in competitive because I think she is a competitive boat. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm uh, watching her very carefully here. <laughs> I agree that she has she has a place if used in the right team composition. Yes. Now, we have to be careful with that Hindenburg up to the north. Hindenburg's got that quarter pen. It will pen the 50 millimeter armor yep. on the Kaba. If I'm if I'm a lot. If I'm uh, Milan Rouge's uh, Kaba, I'm not super excited about seeing Tranix Hindenburg up there because that's probably the one guy him and Didax Hindenburg are the two people that can just reliably pin him with pretty much any shell they throw at him. 
Yes, but I do like that the Republic is backing him up, also using oh, space yeah. camo. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this is important. So the Republic backing him up means that that Hindenburg can't expose himself on the other end of that channel, really. Yeah, he's got to be very careful. Well, A going to uh, Knuckles, C going to MIA, and uh, MIA now getting trying to back, get back in and contest B. Explosive dumplings. Grows away spotted by Elferos as Grows away. Wow, close. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised they were that close to each other. Elferos all the way on the other side of the of the, of the cap on the six line. Yeah, but, uh, a bit of a misplay by Dumpling, I think. Um, opening fire, forcing him to use his smoke instead of just holding fire. Yeah, well, he's hemmed in a bit there. Yep. Big fighter battle going on in the northwestern corner of B with that Yu Yang, uh, Blood Rain's Yu Yang yep. there, and smoke. Yep. Dumpling now radar, Smurfling's Des Moines coming up the backside of that island, very, very close to Grozovoy's Dumpling. Sorry, Dumpling's Grozovoy. Wow, I got that backwards. <laughs> yep, Elferos' Groz. Dumpling. That's right, Elferos' Groz now able to just punish Dumpling now from this position. In smoke, probably can't be seen. Nobody's down there to spot him, no radar can find him. Dumpling now goes dark again. As one of the Des Moines, the Knuckles Des Moines, ducking into the cap to try and cap. That's really ballsy. Girls have always spotted again. And I don't like how um, Quimail is backing into the cap. Yeah, Actually, that was weird. Looks like he was going bow in and then turned all the way around. Super weird. Yeah. None oh, of... Uh, Dumpling's very low. Yeah, Dumpling's on like... It was only 2,500 last I saw him. There he is. 900 HP and falling. Just needs yeah. to get a few shells on that guy, and he'll be out. Big, interesting. big bomber strike now coming in for Real Senpai, Real Senpai's Montana down at sea. No, As, here, come, here comes the fighters. It's interesting how the three fighters are grouped together like that. Typically, you don't see that. Yep, Polar Bird coming probably... to defend his teammate, but the strike gets into the water. Senpai definitely going to take some torps here. Looks like four, three or four. One, two, three. Yep, eat some damage there. Well, the damage they put into Dumpling really means they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a struggle, struggle using him to try and contest B. Well, they're... right now MIA's got a 50k advantage in health. Yeah. Lost, they've got both caps. I mean, they're in an incredibly strong position. Yeah, they're in a really strong position. Well, and all the M all the Knuckles forces at C or excuse me at A have left. The caps going down what to B. Need? It looks like the Henri and the Republic are running away. What we need is for the Kava to just go full rush and put on that Tetris remix music and go. Yeah, I'm not sure why you would send ships that fast to A and not continue pushing them through. Like their entire because team of the now. Fear of the Hindenburg. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. The, the entire team now, Knuckles' entire team is literally just clumped up on the edge of B. Yep. I do like how that that Kava easily avoided the Torps. <laughs> Probably just outran them. Wow. Yeah. Well, Milan Rouge's cab now into the northern end of B, probably well spotted, I can only assume. Shots going in on him now. So from the south, so he's de they've definitely got eyes on him. He's backed up by two now radar crews, three cruisers and a battleship, very, very close aboard. Yeah, we need to that group in B cap. They need to go into B cap. They need to do something. They want to I mean, happen. they're just camped out, pitched a tent, trading shots. Like, that's not going to win you the game, guys, unless you really bag the kills. I do like watching Moulin Rouge here doing his thing in the Kaaba. Mm -hmm. It's a thing of beauty. Like Smurflings, but... Smur they've, they've forced Smurflings Des Moines back, right? But there's no one who has shots on him to the south. So it's right. they, they've pushed him back there, but it doesn't do them any good because they can't ex they can't uh, they can't exploit that position. Exactly. Yes. So the group behind B needs to actually get into B as uh, A Something. now that Hindenburg feels he's free to push in. I mean, Tranik is about to move into A up north and start capping A. He can go camp yep. the north side of that island in A and just cap and nobody can do anything about it. The Republic and the Montana won't yep. have shots on him. Yeah, I don't like seeing the Republic and Montana right next to each other. That's yeah, they need to be helpful. split up. Because then the enemy just has to, has to angle to one source of damage. Instead of two. Some very interesting interesting play choice of strategy here by Knuckles early on. They're about 140 points down as we approach the halfway mark of the match here on Islands of Ice. MIA probably oh, still. Quimo in a, just took a big hit. 
Sorry to cut in like that. That's okay. Uh, in, to, his Des Moines? Half his health. He's at 22k now. Tranix Hindenburg taking a torpedo strike up an A, but are any of these planes going to survive to drop? I don't I don't know. Looks like one. Maybe one? Nope. The lone torpedo did not survive. <laughs> oh, man. And I'd like to see Dumpling just, just at least tossing some torpedoes in or something. He's got 10 kilometer torps. They're not too bad. Rosa Boy's torps aren't terrible. No. Rouge is now, you know, I mean, he's doing what he can, but if yeah. his team isn't backing him up... Well, Rouge caps hard. B, but Tranix Hindenburg bags A virtually uncontested because, well, no one's got shots on him. Here comes a bomber strike for him, but it's going to do minimal damage. There'll be HE bombs. They'll, they'll light a couple of fires. He'll put it out, and life will go on. Yep. I just, I yes. really like, MIA has a better board position right now. And, that's and a health expected, advantage. Right? They've got the experience. They've played competitive before. Whereas uh, Waifu and these other clans, I mean, they've played, but in their respective clans, not really yeah. together. Yeah, maybe. Real Senpai's Montana now in a great position to, to dump shells into the Moscow of the Des Moines up at B. Oh, Quimil dead. Yep, Didak finally. First kill of the game going to MIA here on Islands of Ice. Well, Knuckles strikes back, as the, t as the title, mm -hmm. as their team name would suggest, as yep. the Republic bags a kill in response. Now, the Republic is now in the cap with Tranix Hindenburg. I tell you, if I'm Tranix, I just run up and torp the guy. Yep, and if I'm that Republic, I'm thinking, how do I avoid that? Well, he needs to turn and, south, uh, right? If he turns to the south side of that island, he can avoid that. He's going to be turning south regardless is, because of these tour bombers. He is turning south already. He's not moving very quickly. No, I don't know why. He's pulled up. Oh, that's the Paris. That's the fancy space camo. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Mm -hmm. Stay at least one torp there. Reservoir using defensive fire to try to ensure that he only takes one torp instead of two. And I'll tell you what, in addition to the people viewing this, my cat has decided to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Tranik doing the smart, making the smart play at A here, right? He's, I mean, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna oblige him. It looks like he was gonna reverse and back up and get out of the cap, but now he's yeah. going forward again. It looks like I, I like it. Swag over nine thousand boy is splitting up. Yeah, and they're gonna. I, I think Tranik hit the Hindenburg from both sides. I think yeah, I think Tranik's gonna be able to get a good torpedo strike on one of these guys. It looks like he's turning to opt for the Republic. He's gonna use the island. Here comes another torpedo bomber strike. Tremendous amount of Knuckles' firepower devoted to A right now. Yeah, and the problem too with that Republic is I'm I'm seeing him getting spammed right now by uh, Yu Yang, so we know that that means deep water torps are probably coming his way too. Yeah, well here comes the torp stripe on Tranik. Gonna need at least two or three of those, maybe yeah, no, two. No defensive fire, which is interesting. No, his DF is probably still just about just barely on cooldown. Eats two in the forward end of the ship there as the other torpedo squadron doesn't survive to drop. Plumber barely manages to dodge the deep water torps, but he is continuing to get burned. A lot of drama to A, but not for a lot of thunder and lightning, but not much gain. Real Senpai under a tremendous amount of pressure down in C. The Henri has a huge health advantage on him right now as he is looks like he's on at least two fires. Senpai is going to be going down here momentarily. MIA is going to lose a battleship down at the bottom end of the map. This is good. I like the Henri's position. It's Henri's playing very out. well. Senpai was moved up a little aggressively and did not have as much support as he might have would have wanted. Mm -hmm. That narrows the score now. Less than 100 points separate the two teams with about seven minutes to play. Now what needs to happen is the Henri needs to get into C-cap now. Look at Rouge's cab. Yeah, Look at what is happening. Cabaros charging a Montana and getting torpedo dropped at the same time. And the torpedo drop takes him out. Holgerberg's Hercuryu doing fantastic work there, defending his teammate from a torpedo strike. He does still eat one torpedo. Stone Smasher taking one in the stern, but certainly not enough to, to kill him there. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know what the point was for that. Very look back at thing. A, Tranik still having, ooh, wow, big hit there from Republic, Republic but Deepwater Torps now coming in for Plumber. This is going to end his game. One, 
Here come three yeah, more, come. four more, bam, bam, and that is done. Tranik now just having to deal with the Hindenburg crawling up his stern as he turns to starboard to dump some of his port torps out that way. Another torpedo strike coming in for him now. He bounces a few Montana shells, doesn't die, but is very low on health. The cab and flooded the out Stone Smasher. Wow. wow. Tranik polishes off the torpedo strike. Some of these torps are going to land on 9,000. He takes three, three in the bow. He's double fire, probably flood. He must have repaired because the fires and the flooding are out. Another decent, another decent salvo on Tranik, but uh, not enough to kill him. Tranik repairing now. As swag on 10k under focus fire from the Yu Yang and Tranik Hindenburg. Yeah, very interesting to see that the Yu Yang is smoking. In this case, it's definitely working out for him. Well, Knuckles is making a really hard push now. They are just determined not to give this game up. In fact, they are now contesting the two caps they don't own. MIA not ticking yeah. up points now. Five minutes to play. 130 points separate these teams, but 9,000 is about to go out. Here come the Deepwater yeah. Torps. Bam. MIA will retain control of the A cap. Neither team wants to lose the series. As Smurfling bags the Moskva. That's an interesting trade. I'm not surpri I'm surprised he pulled that off. Yeah. You know what else surprises me? Dumpling is still alive somewhere. <laughs> we haven't seen him in forever. Though. He's alive, but I don't know what he's really doing. Four minutes to play. MIA one ship up and about 200 points up, but Knuckles pushing hard now, bagging, can, turning C around. Two surviving cruisers down there for them. And then, of course, the Grozovoids on low health somewhere on 900 HP, wherever Dumpling happens to be. Blood Rain's Yu Yang now about to come back into the top end of B and start capping that for MIA. I think, I think they've pretty much got this locked up unless they really, really screw up here. Yeah, I'd really like to see at this point, Dumpling shouldn't be way in the back like he is. He should be smoking up the Henri or the Hindenburg or both. Well, he's headed that way. He is now in the sea cap. He's been spotted somehow, maybe by radar. Yeah. They're going to bag C. Knuckles picks up C finally as... Who is this? Didax Hindenburg is the only ship that they really have shots on right now. A lot of fire coming his way. Dumpling looks like he's trying to get over and provide that smoke. All the battleships in the game are gone. Everybody's battleships are out. Good. I mean, oh, that's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Yes, I know. I, I am I am unashamedly biased in this regard. Oh, why is he... Oh, big hits on the Henri from Tranik's AP. Tranik having a great game here in the Hindenburg on Islands of Ice. Sorry about that. Yeah, the and... <laughs> the Henri should have been using AP. Here it comes. Smurfling's Des Moines. That's why you use AP in the Henri. Yep. Boom! Well, a trade there keeps the score... The gap even as I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this pronounce this name. Who you die who who you do? Whatever. The surviving Hindenburg <laughs> The surviving Hindenburg heads north up. Uh looks like he's gonna try and contest B. He's got a lot of deep water torps coming at him already. They were just launched by Blood Rain's Yu Yang at the top end of the cap. Once again, Tranic seeming to be everywhere on this map. Now in a duel with this surviving Hindenburg. Yep. And unfortunately, Issei is being forced to go bow on, which is not going to be. He'll be out. He'll be out here momentarily. Person. That's going to. That's going to. Fire torps. Nope. There he goes. That leaves. That leaves the Grozovoy. Dumplings. Grozovoy is the last surviving surface ship. Who would have thought it? That ought to wrap it up. MIA here looks like they are easily going. Well, I would say easily. It was a good game, but they've certainly yeah. got it now, uh, claiming victory here on Islands of Ice. GG to both I'm... teams. MIA going up with one match in Group 5. It's time for the uh, Hakuryu to commit seppuku. Indeed. And I've already been talked. I've already gotten a message. Adopt and Impact are ready for us as soon as we get out of this game. So we no, no waiting for the next game, folks. Stay with us. We're immediately going right on to Group 6. We're going to show you Impact and Adopt a Tomato. Should we just go now? I and mean, we know what the result is. Um, we'll wait to finish. I like to let the game finish out and show the final result tallies and everything. Okay. <laughs> They're blaming you, Zath. Look in chat. <laughs> there it is, MIA bagging the match against Knuckles. 
and the group stage here in King of the Sea Supremacy. Tranic. Tranic is the all-star of that game. Mm -hmm. 43, that? 43. 43 playing kills, and the, the work he did against those battleships, unbelievable. I'd love to know what his damage total was. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. All right. Well, let's head back out and get on to our next game.